category, um, fungi category of, if I pronounce this right, Boletus subtomento, subtomentosus. Subtomentosus. Sorry, that's my first time trying to pronounce that, but uh, subtomentosus. That's S U B T O M E N T O S U S. Now, when it comes to foraging um, wild foods, I'm more used to. Um, let me get some better lighting here. I'm more used to gathering wild nuts and fruits, things of that sort. So, personally, I'm pretty new to the idea of doing mushrooms. So, I'm doing more research as we go with this. Um, when I was looking up different ways to prepare these, um, with the best way to, for edibility, um, I mentioned doing like frying them with other, cooking them with other mushroom mix because they tend to be a little mild but kind of bland or you can bake them and obviously eat them like that or mix them in with salads and the sort so next um, the rest of this video is pretty, rest of this video is pretty much going to be um, shots I got of those mushrooms and some other mushrooms that are related and the same and then the next video I do about mushrooms will be me um, baking them. So stay tuned. Now I know um, before we go into the episode of uh, baking them, I know there's a um, quite a few issues whenever you go after fungi, mushrooms of any sort, where you have to uh, really need to check them for bugs and uh, before you really clean them off and all that which cleaning can get some of the bugs off of any sort of food that you go and collect but um, I typically whenever I go after nuts and berries such as acorns, spike berries in the summer in the fall things like that I always check for bugs and if it, they've been partially eaten by insects um, I tend not to go for them but I know uh, especially with berries but I know mushroom, fungi that's a little bit different from what I've been studying I'm gonna go over these real quick and uh, check for insects. I'm not too worried about leaves and stuff right now because I can do that majorically whenever I get home and uh, clean that off, throw that stuff out whenever I get home. So I'm not as worried about that right now. But uh, whenever I picked, I'm going to try not to break these, you know. <laughs> That's a problem. I know whenever I picked up one of these larger clusters, I don't think it was this one. But I know on one of them, oh, there's a little bug in there. Get him out. Just a second. This little guy hanging out in there. Get him out. Um, like I said, whenever I picked one of the larger clusters up earlier, I noticed a centipede hanging out. And that's somebody I don't want hanging out whenever I cook this and all that, even though it won't be bad for you because if you bake them by accident even if it's accident or cook them um, it's just gonna be proteins <laughs> there's really nothing bad with that and let's uh, I don't think any of us who do any sort of foraging or anything like that can really say that we've never eaten an insect before whether on purpose or accident so got a uh, mushroom right here big guy we got a big old centipede I don't know if you can see him but he's hanging out right here right here I think you can I can kind of see him on my camera but we're gonna get him off see hanging out there and get him off Let's throw him down there curl up in defense he'll survive he'll be alright and we got another guy hanging out right here on this leaf take him off throw them down, throw a couple of these leaves down, yeah we got a couple, looks like, looks like, Jesus, no centipede, got a baby one there, 
and another one there. Actually, I'm gonna, I think this little one looks like it's already been made a home on the inside with centipedes. So I'm gonna set this one right here. This is a good one. I'm gonna set this one on my tire for a minute while I organize everything else because this one's already pretty much been completely infested with centipedes. Even though that can be taken care of, that's not really something I just want to deal with later on as a complete whole. That may sound lazy, but would this be my first batch of mushrooms that I'm taking, you know, foraging for and taking care of and going to eat later on? I don't really want to deal with that. So, all the rest of these mushrooms, there are no centipedes in my bucket. This is actually one of my kids' buckets. I took it because he never plays with it. Um, collect these mushrooms. So, I'm going to put all these back in. And I hope you've enjoyed this video um, as a part one with these. I'm going to do more foraging videos later on. Obviously, that's what this channel is dedicated to. But I'm going to do more mushroom foraging later on. More, Probably a couple more here soon with acorns. And there's not a whole lot I can do with berries left this year. But... and. Um, more nuts overall. We probably got a couple nut videos we'll be making later on this year here within the next month because you know a lot of seeds, a lot of nuts are dropping from trees so we'll probably go out foraging for some more of those later on too. And uh, like I said I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll do more mushroom foraging later on and I'm going to do a video here soon of these being having been cleaned up and being baked. So enjoy! Peace out. Okay, these mushrooms here are um, typically, in a general term, considered under the name boletes, which is a um, type of mushroom that's in the 